Hello all, welcome to Keisha's Gossip and Truths. And in this video, I will be talking about the life of Kenya Moore. Well, you all know that I like to give a brief intro before I go in deep, so here we go. Kenya Summer Moore was born on January 24th, 1971 in Detroit, Michigan to Patricia Moore and Ronald Moore. Although she was mostly raised by her grandmother and auntie, now this arrangement has always hunted Kenya. She was quoted saying this about her being born. Since birth, my mother made the decision at age 16 to pretend she never had me. She has never spoken to me. Oh, there's more. Even if the president in the same room with other people and family, she pretends that I simply don't exist. She pretends I'm invisible. However, Aside from that, Kenya came above it all and she graduated from a technical high school in 1989 and also attended Wayne State University, where she majored in psychology and minored in communications. At the age of 14 years old, Kenya started her modeling career. Her first issue in January 1992 as a cover girl for Chicago Girl for Chicago-based Johnson Publishing Company, Ebony Mans. After that, she became a model for the Ebony Fashion Fair Cosmetic line. She went on to win Miss USA in 1993, becoming the second African American to win Miss USA. After that, that led her to star in many television shows and movies. She also started her own production company called More Vision Media in 2008. It's credited for the erotic thriller called The Confident and Trapped a Haitian Night. It and the production company didn't do so good, especially after she lost to her director. Meanwhile, I'm fast forwarding now here. She married Mark Daly June in 2017 and they had their child in November of 2018. Anyway, she's currently on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, one of the cast members there. Now let's get personal and scandalous. Okay, we all know the drama that's on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, but what about her personal life? Well, let's start with her relationships, with some of them being real and some of them being fake. For example, let's go back. It was told that Kenya's first love was that came out of a scandal on the series. It, it was then she was accused of faking her relationship with her season five boo, Walter Jackson. In an interview with the Daily Mail, Jackson claimed that he was paid to be Moore's boyfriend on the show. Oh, and there's more. He admitted that they had dated before, you know, and he appeared on the show with her. But he added that her, but he added that she later approached him after their breakup, you know, to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta with her. This is what he said. She asked me if I would be on the show and pretend to be her boyfriend. I thought about it for a bit and then decided that I might as well get my 15 minutes of fame, he said. Kenya told everyone she had moved to Atlanta to be with me. It was nothing to do with me, really. She moved to Atlanta to be on the show and relaunch her career. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm not done yet because he went on to say this. He also said that the experience was extremely stressful for him as he tried to keep up with her demands of being her boyfriend role. I thought I sucked because I couldn't give them what they wanted. It was easy in one sense because they would call me up, tell me to be somewhere, and then we would only fam for a couple of hours at a time, he said. You know what? And I'm still not done yet. But in another way, it was difficult because Kenya was throwing some stuff that I wasn't expecting and I didn't know how to react. She started asking me, when, when are we going to get married? And I would be like, wow, I didn't know that was coming. He added, you know what? And I'm not done yet. It gets deeper. Because while she was faking her relationship with Jackson, she was also accused of flirting with Apollo Nida, or Nita, however you pronounce his last name. And of course, the sexting accusation caused the rare house wise of Atlanta's ladies to feud, to balloon, to go way out of proportion. Kenya, of course, denied that anything happened between the two. Then as Apollo appeared to serve his eight-year prison sentence for fraud during the eighth season, Apollo admitted that he lied about Kenya sexting. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. He lied about Kenya sexting him and apologized to her and Phaedra. So he was playing some freaking games. I did a video about him. I will leave the link below. You can just click it at the end of this video. Okay. Oh, and you would think that after that last fiasco that, you know, this whole fake relationship drama would be it. Nope. There's more. It was sometime after Kenya posted on Instagram of her millionaire matchmaker. Mm -hmm. Date who name was James Freeman and she was engaged yeah they were engaged that's what she said but it got around that that was a lie because he had gotten married to someone else without her knowing supposedly oh yes <laughs> but it gets sicker and by this time you will start to think something is wrong with the Kenya because after Freeman's marriage his wife blasted Kenya and saying that Kenya and her husband hadn't talked in months and calling Kenya split post and engagement tease as nothing but a publicity stunt. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, she lied again. And guess what? For attention. Oh, but I'm still not done. She may have been lying yet again because Nene leaks revealed that Kenya was facing claims that she was faking her relationship with her season A beau, Eugene Cacherero. Oh, yes. It seems that Nene Leakes may have exposed Kenya in a tweet that appeared to accuse Kenya of casting a new boyfriend from season 8. Coincidentally, just weeks after, yes, Leakes dissed Cashiero and Kenya who had just made their debut at the launch party for Moore's new hair care. Mmm, yep. And I'm still not done yet. And we're going to go back a little further. It was leaked that Kenya may have had a relationship with Jay-Z back in the Dizay. Now, truth be told, it was already in the streets that, you know, Jay-Z hit it and, you know, and finally confirmed uh, Kenya. She posted a throwback photo of them on one of Jay-Z video sets when she set this in the caption. On the set of hashtag money ain't a thing with Jay-Z circa 1998. Hashtag happy to work within him. Such a gentleman and talented rapper turned mongol. She wrote adding. Mm -hmm. So it seems that she was talking, but not too much. Because even Kenya is scared to piss off the beehive. So you know what? With that being said, let's go back to the present. Now, it has been leaked on Daily Mail that her ex-boyfriend, Matt Jordan, whom she broke up with in late 2016, whom she had to get... <laughs> A freaking restraining order out against well it seems that her ex has now been arrested in Arizona for a list of alleged crimes including assault and theft oh yes according to TMZ the 36 year old was booked on Saturday at Pinal County for trespassing along with three separate charges that includes aggravated assault theft and threatening and, and intimidating with damage to property it seems that it all stemmed from an arrest warrant issue in Maratopa County Matt Bell was set to three thousand two hundred and fifty dollars on Saturday night however he remains in custody with no one stepping forward to pay the freaking bail oh it's not the first time he was in trouble he was also involved in a brawl with fellow house wife star Peter Thompson with a knife, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yes, with a knife. Whereas Kenya had to get a restraining order against him back in March of 2017. After he continued to harass her and allegedly threatened her. Well, I must say, she dodged a bullet with that one, okay? Even though I'm hearing that this current guy that she's with uh, was also hired. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what I'm hearing. And I'm not sure how far it goes or how far this agreement goes. I hear there's sometimes babies involved, especially if a person is desperate to have kids. I don't know. Now, consider she asked Walter to marry her as well. So who knows? But we can all admit that dudes like this has been going on for decades. I wish nothing but happiness for her. I mean... Just saying, I sense that she's not authentic. Uh, I'm not even sure she knows who she is at this point. Hiring men for relationship, making up stories for publicity, doing soft porn with both women and men. I mean, starting fights just for ratings. She's definitely on the lines of a narcissistic, bipolar, and Hollywood puppet. Just saying. However, I hope that this current relationship, marriage, is for love and not just for another hard relationship, just for publicity. I 
I know I missed a lot on this story. I don't really follow that show too in depth. So if there's anything I missed, put it down below. But I'm sure it won't be too long before, you know, we hear more crap about her. I'm always getting notifications about the Real House of Wise of Atlanta of some crap that's going on. Especially with Kenya and Portia. They seem to always pop up there, you know. It's a freaking headache. I'm not going to dive all into that reality stuff. It's not me. <laughs> I try not to. Anyway, please, please tell me your stories below and whatever you know about this whole feud that's going on with these women. Put it below so everyone can see. And oh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications for when I do upload a video. And also don't forget to subscribe to my other platforms such as The Truth Show, The Truth Show Deluxe. And also support my Patreon account if you want really, really deep videos. All the links are below. And I thank you all for supporting my channel. Love you all. Bye.